So I haven't talked much on this channel about the protests following the deaths of George Floyd, Janet Taylor, who are the latest in, let's be honest, a very long string of deaths of black people at the hands of law enforcement. And that has been an oversight and a failing on my part. So I'm taking a moment to say this now. Black Lives Matter. There is a systematic problem with racial prejudice in the United States. A problem that has been going on since before the signing of the Declaration of Independence, to be frank. It's, and it's an issue that's not unique to the United States. It's an issue that come up and came up in Canada. There is a death, uh, uh, it was a um, woman in, I want to say Toronto, who fell from a window if, during a confrontation with law enforcement. Uh, and I to show how, to, to show that, that how much this is not a unique United States issue as I try to find the particular issue, uh, particular death that's coming to mind. Um, I end up finding a whole bunch of whip of reports by. Reports of news stories of Canadian law enforcement killing uh, First Nations people just within the past few weeks of uh, when I'm recording this in the second week of June. It was Toronto. Um, woman, the woman's name was Regis Roshinsky Paquet. So, this is not a U.S. specific thing. So, but it's still an issue that needs action. There need to be changes in how law enforcement is handled in the United States and elsewhere. Um, I mean, in as I'm recording this, Portland Police Department has, which is the, the largest city in my state, um, their annual budget is $244 million and eclipses the budgets for the Portland Fire Bureau and the Portland Parks Department dramatically. So, whether or not you feel that police departments need to be, because the entire concept of a police department in some form needs to be eliminated, or what have you, there needs to be change. There needs to be change in the cultures of policing and how it is handled, resources that are that are currently allocated to police departments are better served, be better served elsewhere. Police shouldn't be the first people who come out to mental health crises. There should be properly funded mental health services to handle crisis situations like that, where the person who is coming out to resolve a problem, if someone is suicidal, if someone is having, if a homeless person is having a mental health crisis, or for homelessness in general, there should be options there that don't involve, where there are situations where the first person who's coming out to resolve the situation is coming out armed. And for change to happens, happen, we, and by we I mean people like me, which I mean white people, for that solution to come, and for something that will actually solve the problem to the satisfaction of the people who are being hurt, the people in communities of color, um, African, our African American community, and to an extent also our Hispanic community. Um, they need 
to the people in those communities need to be heard. We need to listen. And so, normally what you would be seeing on this YouTube channel over the course of this week would be three or uh, four Let's Play videos and then one review video on Wednesday. You will not be seeing those on this channel this week. Because, and now wait, there's now I'm recording this again on the first full week of June. Um, on the week of June 8th. Why am I putting this up for 4th of July week? Well, because, and this is actually deliberate on my part, I could, I could reshuffle my order, I could have just dropped this in in addition to everything else I normally do, but we, when I say we need to listen to people of color, to, to black people, about how society needs to change and what needs to be changed to make it a safe place for people of color, for black people. It's not, we can't just listen when the protests are happening. We have to keep listening when the protests stop. We have to pay attention to what solutions need to be done, seek out and pay insight and in, of, of black people, of people of color, when like outside of when the protests are happening. I'm somewhat struggling with my words on this because part of this is how my autism works and for how phrasing putting these putting the phrasing together for all of this. And part of this is also I don't want to talk too much on this. Because again, the point of this week isn't for me to go do a big vlog spiel and a call to action and that sort of thing. Plenty of people have done that. Plenty of people of color have done that. And me doing a big spiel about all about how deeply I feel about this and what act on what my views are and what should or shouldn't be done. That would just be self-serving for me. You don't know. Don't listen to me about what need about what needs to be done to fix how society view how how policing in some form is done whether it's by the pol whether it's by a group that is called the police or whether it's by through some other form don't listen to me about that i'm not the person to talk you so instead i my call is to for you my listeners my viewers to seek out community seek out groups representing people of color in your community uh black lives matter groups like for example don't shoot pdx um or don't shoot portland here in portland oregon um and listen to what they have to say and pay attention to what they have to say if you don't agree with what they have to say that's fine keep it to yourself instead listen to what they're saying and why they're saying it and that While you may have ideas for, oh, there's a middle ground that's being excluded or something like that, they have reasons, there, there are perhaps reasons for excluding that middle under these circumstances. That they, that communities of color, that black communities have tried finding the middle ground and it's, or, or going to the middle ground and found the results lacking, found the results don't actually fix the problems. And I'm going to take this one step further taking this beyond Black Lives Matter groups. Also, if you can march and protest, if you can actively take part in protests, please do so. If you cannot, that's fine. If you have anxiety issues or other mental health issues that prevent you from going, if you are immunocompromised, since God knows COVID-19 is a, still a thing, and I'm, yes, I'm saying the name, I ain't monetized, so it don't matter to me. Um, COVID-19 is still a thing. And so if you are immunocompromised, if the people in your household, your roommates, your family members, your kids are immunocompromised, be respectful for them and stay home as well. You, if, you, if you're living alone and you want to risk you, you do you. It's, it is irresponsible for you to risk other people who have not agreed to put themselves at risk. If you feel like talking it out with them, that's okay. In fact, 
and if, and if they feel that they don't want to march or, or can't march because of immunocomp because of health issues but are okay with you marching presiding you take proper precautions that's okay too instead if you cannot take part in protests um i would recommend that you look reach out and look to your local black lives matter groups or that sort of thing and either donate to them or local bail funds directly or if their financial needs have been met and in some cases we've seen this happen before with with um protest in minneapolis where they got all the money they needed though so they suggested you protest you donate to other groups pay attention to them and, and see who they want to protest to this is why i am also what you won't find in the links below is you will not find a link to like local chapters of various groups to donate to because by the time this video goes up where the money needs to go in terms of local organizations may have changed dramatically so that there but the other thing i recommend you do one of the things that i've seen talked about when it comes to lack of diversity and failure to listen to vo to alternative voices including voices of color trans voice um uh, LGBT voices, women in particular, when it comes to also LGBTQ uh, people of uh, black LGBTQ people and black women, is they tend their voices tend to get somewhat drowned out or pushed to the side here um, dur during situations like this. George Floyd's name gets ton of media attention. The protests about George Floyd get a ton of media's attention. The protests about Brianna Taylor, less so. And on top of that, trans people of color who also are often threatened and die in, con in contact with when they have encounters with police or other just other people in general because trans people still suffer acts of violence in hate crimes, uh, as a result of hate crimes. So the other part of this, or what I am doing, recommending as a week of silence, or the week, week of silence is the wrong term, a week of listening, is I ask that you also pay attention and st actively seek out African-American YouTubers, African-American streamers, and writers in whatever fields interest you. Not just in talking in the fields of social justice, and not just talking in the fields of police reform and discussing dealing with crappling with racism or that sort of thing. I'm talking about going one step further, or two or three or four steps further, and just looking at when you look at what you do for recreation, what YouTube channels you watch for let's plays or reviews or that sort of thing what twitch streams you watch what science fiction novels you read what fiction or fantasy novels you read what comics you read what have you pay attention to who is making them and take the next step and look for creators of color black creators hispanic creators etc who are making those works as well and listen to what they have to say and read what they're writing. Now these, I will put some links in the show notes below. I will have a few couple uh, links to other uh, let's players and YouTubers and Twitch streamers that I pay attention to and follow. Um, one of whom who, if you um, pay attention to the console explosion, you may recognize from there the philosopher. Um, has really great fighting game content on his channel um, and on his Twitch stream. There will be a link to his channel there. Um, a couple other people as well. Anime YouTube, uh, from Anime YouTube stuff, uh, anime podcasts, science fiction writers. Just put an assortment of stuff down there for you to check out. But don't stop with what I have in the show notes. Take the next step. Look for additional writers, for additional YouTubers, um, bloggers, direct film directors, musicians, you name it. 
Step outside of your comfort zone. And listen to what the people out there, listen to what black people, who have had much different life experience than what you have had, have to say. Don't talk. Hold off from asking questions. Just listen. 